Welcome to this third lecture in this series on FORM, F-O-R-M, the first order reliability method. Uh, in the first one, uh, we discussed in detail the mathematical basis, the algorithm, and the limitations of FORM. Uh, in the second one, which is the previous to this one, uh, we went through several problems in detail. And then uh, today, uh, we are going to look at uh, two more. And then in the remaining time, we will uh, take up the second order reliability method, SORM. So uh, let's uh, recap the essential features of FORM. Uh, we start by mapping the basic variables onto the independent standard normal space, so x to u, and hence we get a new limit state equation, uh, g x equals 0 to h of u equals 0. And our purpose is to minimize the distance to uh, this limit state equation in the standard normal space, in the independent standard normal space. Uh, and that minimum distance point is the checking point or minimum distance point, most likely point. Uh, these are the various names. And the, that distance is the reliability index. So that in an approximate sense, which we are going to uh, probe uh, in detail a little later in this lecture, uh, the failure probability is phi of minus beta, or the reliability is phi of beta. Uh, to be more correct, we need to take uh, the sign of the limit state uh, at the origin, uh, the whether the origin is in the safe set or not, and but typically it is, so we ignore that signum function. Uh, pictorially speaking, this is what we do. Uh, we uh, map uh, x onto u and uh, the new limit state h equals 0 uh, in terms of u and uh, the PDF contours are nice concentric circles around the origin in u space and we find the minimum distance beta to the minimum distance point u star. Uh, to summarize, uh, the, the key steps and some of the pros and cons are uh, we have to map x onto u and uh, there are several possible maps. We mentioned about five uh, in earlier in this uh, series. Uh, the second Mormon transformation or the hassefer lin transformation, the full distribution transformation, the Nataf transformation, the rockwitz fiesler transformation and the Rosenblatt. Uh, in fact, if you remember, uh, all the problems we solved in the previous uh, lecture used the hassefer lind transformation. We are going to look at other transformations today. Uh, we, and then the next step uh, is the optimization uh, part, which is the minimizing the distance. Uh, now, uh, the, the Pros and cons, as I mentioned, that uh, we don't need H uh, in closed form. If there is a method like a finite element program which gives us H point by point, that would be OK. Uh, we don't need to use a gradient-based algorithm to optimize uh, the uh, minimum uh, the distance. Uh, there are many optimization schemes available, uh, and the, for example, the evolutionary type algorithms do not use gradients. Uh, but importantly, uh, this is a nonlinear optimization problem, so there is no guarantee that the uh, global optimum is obtained. So uh, we can always find a local optimum, and only if it's a convex optimization problem, we can uh, be assured that the local op the optimum is the global optimum. So now, uh, let us start solve uh, the uh, problems which involves different maps. 